leaving Bulgaria. And the sun is setting. It's just after six o'clock, well, heading towards seven o'clock. As you can see, there's a lot of traffic now to get into Serbia. A lot of nice cars, a lot of rich um, Europeans. I won't film the checkpoint too long. So that's the border crossing just behind me there. Uh, lots of people from different places, Israel, Romania, myself, of course, I was sat next to a Turkish gentleman. So yeah, real travel experiences. This is, this is what it's like. As you can see on the camera, I'm tired and it's been a, a long few days. So we're leaving the EU, entering Serbia. Serbia desperately wants to be part of the EU for uh, trade reasons. Um, but they won't acknowledge Kosovo so um, they basically won't be allowed entry to the EU I won't touch on how I feel about it I don't really know that much about it to be quite honest and it's something I try not to be too political um, on the show well, sometimes it will be but you know and also I don't, I don't know really know what other countries you know what the, the deep politics is like if I do I'll talk about it but in this instance I really don't know much about Kosovo and Serbia. W one thing um, I've been learning a little bit about Serbian history and of course they've been very prominent in lots of conflicts and unfortunately Serbia's had a long history of conflicts and basically been used by greater powers from Europe and you know Asia Minor. So yeah, <laughs> I don't want to get too political but yeah like World War One Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated in Sarajevo, which is not Serbia, but it was by a Serb, apparently. And that um, started the, um, the wheels in motion for World War I. Um, again, you know, I, you know I'm, very, I'm a bit of a history buff, so I might know a few more conspiratorial things about it, but let's just believe what they say is true for, for now, so that that started World War I. Um, and in both World War One and World War Two, Serbia was um, hit hard, shall we say, from all sides, really. Um, so yeah, it's um, very interesting place, full of history, and I'm looking forward to getting to know about it. Here we are in a group coming through the border now. And I'll leave it there because I don't want to film for too long on the border. What do you do when the border's full? You reverse it into the border. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. We're on the border between Sofia, well, sorry, Bulgaria and um, Serbia. And the absolutely jammed is the border. So the driver took a U-turn into the opposite road. Look, there's a car just gone past. And now we're uh, reversing into the border. Absolutely crazy. Conatesa travel experiences continue. Look at all these trucks, so many trucks. And it's Friday as well, so it's Friday afternoon, people getting off work, coming for the weekend. So it's absolute chaos at the border. So here we go, now we're gonna... Here's the gaming on the border. We're gonna go forward now. I'm guessing he's done this before. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> wow. So now we're going forward. There's everybody stuck in the queue. There we go. Just got to get across this lane of traffic now. Of course it's like 30, 30 degrees today. 
32 degrees it says on there and it's warm in here so yeah it's going to be a three hour bus ride but it's, it's taking a bit longer than expected <laughs> Still haven't got across the traffic. And there we go. We're in. Just force it, force it in. Wow. Bravo. Try not to collide with the trucks. Unbelievable. So, just got through the border at Serbia. Oh, we're now in Serbia. It looks a bit, I don't know, it looks funny, doesn't it? It looks kind of like American diner style meets um, Eastern Europe. And there's lots of cars, lots of traffic. The queue is backlogged, as we all know. I, I'm just waiting now as the sun sets. I'm waiting for the rest of the, the crew to come through. Lots of expensive cars from Europe and further on. Is that an English one? I believe it is. So we've got English, German, there's the Polizia, the Border Force, the Border Patrol. So there's my bus guys, they're all coming through. One guy's got denied, so that took a bit of time. He was there for about half an hour. So it's, you know, time's ticking, time's ticking. I'm not gonna be able to do the transfer I wanted. I was trying to get another bus, um, so I'm stopping. I forget the name of the city, to be honest, but I'm stopping. Um, oh, there's the, um, the dog searching the car. I'm, uh, I'm getting the bus to like a midway point in Serbia. It was the only bus I could get. Um, the bus to Belgrade was, um, the bus for Belgrade was, Um, sorry, I'm a bit distracted by all the cars and things. The bus to Belgrade was like 7 a.m. in the morning and I, I didn't have time to catch that. So, um, yeah, I ended up getting the bus halfway, which uh, here we are now. The border crossing's taken probably an hour longer than expected. Um, it's taken probably an hour and a half at least, with the queues even longer probably. There's beautiful Bulgaria in the background and beautiful Serbia awaits us. So yeah, that's travel. This is travel. This can be tiring. I've really enjoyed it actually. I've met some friends, an Israeli guy, a Turkish guy. It's been fun chatting to them, had some interesting chats. And uh, the Israeli guy in particular has traveled a lot, so we had a lot of um, stories to share about that. Um, he's been to Mexico, so if you, if you want to check out my Mexico videos, head back to the uh, start of the channel and you'll see them. So yeah, it's been, been an eventful day. It's, it really has been a mini adventure and it's been enjoyable, but um, it's taking longer. So I'm gonna get stuck at my halfway point. I won't be able to get to Belgrade today. Um, that's a slight shame because I'm meant to be meeting Henry and the team for our uh, adventure. So, and that, and that will, you'll see what, uh, what happens with that. So yeah. We're in the Balkans and we're going to be staying around those countries. Um, who knows? Who knows where we'll go? I've got an open-ended trip. I haven't um, booked the ticket back yet. So who knows what will happen on this Eastern European adventure. Bulgaria. I had a great time in Bulgaria. I'll tell you more about it. But yeah, Bulgaria was great. Um, wasn't there very long. <laughs> it's like 48 hours. but. Um, it was really nice to see Sofia. I've already been to Varna on previous trip and seen the Black Sea and things like that. Um, this time was more central, so that was nice. The mountains are beautiful, lots of mountains, uh, hills, valleys, etc. Good people. Food's nice and cheap. Everything's so cheap. So yeah, you can you can live like a king off twenty dollars here. You can have a great a great day for $20. So yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, I'll tell you more about the travel some other time, but yeah, the travel has been, first of all, the, my Ryanair flight was delayed four hours. 
Um, so I'll get some compo from that. Maybe I'll do a video about how I received the compo. I might do that if you're interested. Um, I've done it once before, so it should work fine this time as well. You get about 250 quid. I think you get 250 quid um, for your inconvenience. So yeah, it's probably worth it because it pays for the trip in all honesty. Like that would, out here it's 20, 20 a day, you know, it's 10 days, including your cheap flights. The flight itself only cost 20 quid. So now I'll make some money for it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Cute kid. <laughs> so yeah, nice forest there. Yeah, Serbia is quite a lot of mountains and forests, and I've never been, so it's my first trip, my first time in Serbia. We just exited the EU because Bulgaria is in the EU, um, one of the latest countries to join, I believe. And. That'll be that, I think. I think I'm getting ready to finish the video. All these um, trucks. And it's a real adventure, isn't it? You know, people from all over the world and lots of different sights and wonderments. And that'll be that for this one. <laughs>